it is time for some brew news. Uh, we've got a lot of ground to cover from Oktoberfest to hop harvesting to GBF and Jimmy Carter. Mm, yeah. Mm. You know, there's just a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. So grab your favorite brew, sit back, and let's get started with the latest and greatest in the craft beer industry. If you want to grab a water, we understand. Yeah, that's okay too. Hot water is wonderful. <laughs> Uh, this year's Oktoberfest in Munich, a staggering 7 million liters of uh, beer was poured over the course of the festival. That's a crap ton. Which, if I'm remembering correctly, is actually the most beer poured since 2018, where it was oh. seven and a half. I think it's been in the sixes the years in between, of course, canceled over COVID. Sure, sure, um, sure. But that is enough beer to fill over 1.8 million gallons, or the equivalent of 14 million pints. That's a lot of pints. That's a lot of pints. Let's uh, just pop in for a pint then. <laughs> it's mind-blowing to think about the sheer value of the amount of beer that gets poured in a, basically a two-week span. Yeah, um, that's a lot of beer. So, yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, Stein's help. Yeah. You know. 32-ish ounces at a time. Yeah, it helps, helps pump that number up but also great to see that though like we're hearing these numbers of the craft beer industry down that Oktoberfest was one of the busier that it's seen in the last yeah. five-ish years so yeah. that's, yeah, that's great rad to see that's great it means it's bouncing back bouncing back but yeah. at the same time it leads us into another interesting discussion yeah is that actually the harvesting of hops is a big load of waste <laughs> not shit I said waste. Waste. Anyway, apparently I didn't know this, and also not a brewer or a malter, so makes sense why I wouldn't know that. But anyway, apparently when they're harvesting the plant, they're only using about 20% of it to actually brew beer, okay. which is equivalent to about two pounds or something like that. Articles in the description, you can decipher the numbers for yourself. I am also not a mathematician or a wizard, Harry. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, per plant, they're wasting around seven pounds is the catch to that. So yeah. there's some really cool companies that have been looking at this because a lot of problems are coming about it, right? Uh, uh, there's just a lot of uh, waste lying around. Um, sometimes that can create effects on the climate. Um, it also, some farmers are having to buy, buy fields up just to put the waste over there. And it's like, what do you do with it? Yeah, a lot not, decomposes. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it's creating all this gas. That's a, that's a thing. Especially when we're talking about Oktoberfest, that sort of thing. A lot of beer. That's a lot of beer that you got to produce. So there's some companies out there that are trying to combat it. Um, yeah. There's uh, one that's actually trying to use the materials uh, in like construction. And um, they're making like acoustic panels. Super and cool. thermal insulation and basically like building boards. So I think it's like this, basically like a particle board, but it's made out of hops. It's just super cool. The 80% of the hops that are being left behind. Yeah, why not? Yeah, Use it I, up. I think it's super innovative. The company is called Hopfon. Uh, you can check them out in the article, uh, all out of Germany as well. And the other interesting one that caught my eye is that um, they're actually trying to create different strains of hops as well. Makes sense. I yeah. always love playing in the chemistry lab, don't we? Biology. Um, yeah, sorry, biology lab. I'm going for a scuttle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the difference of that is, actually. But anyway, different strains that basically bring the waste down to about half. So instead yeah. of wasting eight pounds of a plant, you're wasting maybe four. Yeah, which, which is, is super, pretty significant. Yeah, I would assume like less viney, more bush. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> 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 Don't want all that waste lying around. <laughs> Just let it grow. <laughs> <laughs> Wasteful than viney vines. That's true, in there. Think of, think of More the green fun beans. to get through than vines. <laughs> I was thinking of like the green beans. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Well, just dropped a bush joke in there. <laughs> uh, no, I just think it's really cool. I love uh, hearing of companies help reduce waste. Uh, anything that we can do for that, like combining effort. Yeah, I, it's, just, it's just a cool way to. 
innovative way to solve problems. And I'm all about people being innovative, Absolutely. reducing waste. There, there's the coconut company that is the coconut jerky that I think is so awesome. Oh, yeah. And they use the meat of the coconut from the coconut water companies because the coconut water companies do nothing with the whole piece of the coconut. They drain them and then they're done. All right. So they go in and do that. And make just, jerky out of it. Make jerky out of it. It's always love cool that. stuff. And I love so and I love supporting stuff like that. Yeah, same. So. And and this goes without saying, like they're also trying to put it into like animal feed and stuff like that yeah. as well. But I thought the these were like <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I thought these were just more interesting, right? Like my house is made of hawks. I was gonna say it'd be way cooler if the bar would have been made out of hop. I tell you what, if the so cool. uh, if the big bad wolf rolls around, just tell him he needs to bring his zigzag so you just roll it up and light it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe he's trying to burn your house down. Because if it's made out of hops. <laughs> Alright, maybe that wasn't that good. I'll save that for my open mic nights. <laughs> I agree with you. Lots of innovative stuff out, out there also all about supporting startups and cool stuff. Good for the planet yeah. with our powers combined. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, speaking of homemade and making good use and creating businesses and jobs, Jimmy Carter turned 100 fairly recently. And the reason we're bringing him up is because... In 1978, he wrote a bill to legalize homebrewing. Signed a bill. Signed a bill. Someone else probably wrote it for him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and this was a big deal in the U.S., right? Like, once we have homebrewing, uh, you're able to have all these craft breweries pop up. You're able to have things like GABF and the Brewers Association that started here in Boulder. Like, there's so many cool things that came up because of it. Not saying people weren't homebrewing before, but was now legal on a federal level. And so without that, the craft beer scene just would not have moved the way that it, it has in hand. Yeah, and it makes sense, right? A recent birthday, we're just coming off of the Great American Beer Festival. We just want to say thank you, yeah. right? Thanks for your signing the bill. Thanks for putting into play. I mean, we wouldn't have gone to 8,000 and some breweries in the United States without it because of all the home brewers getting to follow their, their hobby passion. into a business and yep. follow their passion. And that's Beautiful pretty thing. friggin' cool. Yeah. And that's the beauty of America. Yeah. There you go. Get to follow your dreams and hopefully make some money doing it. Yeah. All right. So that wraps up our brew news. It's pretty exciting. Oh, it's great. I think it's a real Seven million liters of beer at Oktoberfest. Jimmy Carter giving us a bunch of craft beer by being awesome and uh, reducing hop waste by oh. making building materials and feeding cows. I love it. I, I think it's so, a good juxtaposition of like kind of glutton, but also. What can we do with the waste, right? Yeah. It's kind of both sides to a story. Hopefully it sparks a conversation with you. 